Hey Gemini, welcome to Queen Air Brenda Tarot. Today we're going to do your first week of May general love readings. Keep in mind these are general readings, which means they cannot possibly apply to every single person watching. But if you like a personal reading, the link and all the information is in the description box below. In case you're new to the channel, welcome. And in case you're a returner, thank you for joining me again today. For all of the new viewers, I'm an intuitive reader. I read the traditional sense of the card, but more than anything, I'm always going to give you guys the messages that I pick up intuitively. I charge both of my decks on top of crystal organite pucks. In doing so, that helps me charge, balance, and align the energy for our reading today. I also charge both of the decks on top of your own personalized astrological card. So again, this reading is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals. And as always, I hope everyone is doing well. Currently, there are absolutely no reversals in either one of your decks. So if I get any reversals when I do the shuffling, I'm going to accept those cards because I know they're aligned with the messages that um, I got for you guys today. <clears throat> so you guys have a very busy energy already just from the start. I heard two songs, three, right? The last one right before I did this final shuffle so that I could start the reading. The first song that I heard was Like a Boy by Sierra. And then the second song that I heard was If I Were a Boy by Beyonce. I can guarantee you I haven't listened to either one of those songs in like forever. Seriously. I haven't listened to either one of those songs at all. Message was very clear for me. A lot of you guys are revisiting how someone made you feel and how this person took you for granted and how this person didn't really recognize what it was that they put you through. And right before I pressed record, the song that I heard was Please Don't Go by Tank. This person knows it now. This person knows what they put you through now. Now, when I said, hmm, the first thing I picked up was that it was a fire sign. Just immediately, it just popped up in my head. And at the bottom of the deck, you have the um, Queen of Wands. Some of you guys could definitely have a Leo, Sag, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus individual who is a person of interest and who is a person, <laughs> not not a bad guy, but this, this may be the culprit. This may be the person who caused this um, heartbreak or who made you feel small. Because I'm definitely hearing that this person made you feel small, right? Um, we're going to get two cards. One is going to be a general energy and one is going to be a possible outcome. And then we'll get clarifiers for both. At the bottom of your main deck, I want to make sure it was upside down, you have the Ten of Pentacles. I feel like for, this is a love reading, but I feel like for a lot of you guys, you definitely do have finances on an upswing for you all. I have to put that out there because I do see that. Not just because there's money flowing out of this chest, but I picked that up anyway. You know, I feel like for a lot of you guys, when you were going through your time of heartbreak, you are investing time in yourself, your crafts, whatever it was that you were doing to keep your mind off of this person. Also, I'm going to tell you, a lot of you guys have been binging and drowning your sorrows in music, right? And I feel like that because of how many songs I heard. Typically, when I sit down, I'm quiet and I meditate over you guys' energy. I may hear one or two songs, but I heard those songs very clearly. And it's like somebody was really in their head a lot about this situation because somebody made you I keep hearing somebody made you feel small okay so we're just gonna part this randomly and see what additional messages we get and now you have the knight of pentacles so you just have the ten of pentacles and you have the knight of pentacles some of you guys could be dealing with a taurus virgo capricorn someone rising venus and a visual that is that knight energy mm -hmm. and some of you guys can have that placement in your chart because I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're guarded. Because if you see this knight, he has his armor on from head to toe. He's head to an armor, which means he has been through a battle or he's getting ready to go through a battle. And then he has this pinnacle in front of him like a shield. Now, I want you to pay attention also because I told you all, I feel like for a lot of you, you just came into some financial abundance or it's coming to you very soon. If you look right here in the corner, you have a rabbit and I'm hearing in my head, lucky rabbit foot. And you know, that's like money, money and health abundance. Also, if some of you all out there are trying to get pregnant, you know, that fertility that the rabbit stands for, I feel like that's abundant for a lot of you all right now, so be mindful of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, somebody was dealing with some heartbreak in the past, and, and they're revisiting the past, because if you look at the horse is looking one way, and the knight is looking backwards, like he's, he's paying attention to something that's behind him, something in the past, and I feel like that's the case for a lot of you guys. Ooh, yep. As we part the deck so that we can shuffle, look what we have. Knight of Swords, this is your energy. Yeah. And you see how literally hmm, they're not even facing each other. They're in the opposite. They're going in the opposite direction. So like I said, for a lot of you guys, right, this could be you're moving away from an earth sign who broke your heart or made you feel small. Or it's just you blazing your own trail because if you see how he has the sword up in the air and then it has like this sheen to it. Like I'm literally here. You know how you hear in those action movies where the sword comes out and it's like sheen. 
that's the sound that I'm literally hearing right now with this little glow right here. But um, and also a lot of you all are very intuitive right now because this purple always denotes psychic energy. You see how there's like this purple bird right here and the birds is the air. That's the crown chakra area, right? A lot of you all are being very intuitive right now, but more than anything also, like I said, both of them are head to toe in armor, which means you either been through a battle or you're getting ready to go through a battle. You know, just for some of you guys, you are coming out of a time of going through heartbreak. And for some of you all, you're getting ready to cut someone off. Because like I said, that sword, I heard that sound effect. I literally heard that sound effect. Like a lot of you guys are coming out of this or getting ready to cut loose from an individual. And you're getting ready to go tell this individual that you're, you're cutting ties with them. I feel like somebody knows they messed up. What did I just say? And I just told you guys, a lot of you are becoming very intuitive right now. You know the moon card is by intuition. And that's your subconscious thoughts. And the moon is about things unseen, things unknown. Just yesterday, we had a new moon in the sign of Taurus, right? And then also, and that was a very positive, powerfully um, financial, financially manifesting time. So if a lot of you guys do spells, rituals, things like that. Yesterday would be was a very powerful time for you to do any work like that. And then you have the high priestess right next to the moon card. Two very powerfully intuitive cards dealing with your intuition and higher self. And it's in reverse. I feel like at one point, you know, you were not using your intuition. But I feel like a lot of things have become illuminated to you all right, like recently, very recently. And for a lot of you guys, your intuition told you that this person isn't deserving of you. Look at that. <laughs> Wow, and just as I said that, I said, I feel like a lot of you guys realize your intuition told you this person was not worthy of you. And I told you guys earlier in the reading, a fire sign. So a lot of you guys are feeling like this fire sign is no good for you. Because now it's the page of wands in reverse. That's Leo, Sag, Aries, someone rising, Venus, individual. And the pages are young, something new, could be immature, especially with it being in reverse. And also a page is um, somebody coming in with communication, it's in reverse. So it could be a fire sign individual. That you're not communicating with. Because like I said, the pages are communication. And it's in reverse. Hmm. It's in reverse. And it was in reverse just now. Because this person did not know how to come to you. But like I said, I heard the tank song. I heard that tank song, please don't go. This person doesn't want you to go because they feel like you're their soulmate. They feel like you're their soulmate. They feel like you're their life partner. Now, even though this um, page of wands back is facing the two of cups... I feel like he's walking towards the future. Like this person's walking towards you. You see how he has this wand in his hand. Like this person is going to come to you and, and finally communicate how they feel about you. Most definitely because, you know, pages are communicators. I feel like this person is going to communicate with you. At the bottom of the deck, you have the two of cups in reverse. Again, I feel like that's the state that you and this individual are in right now. Because I don't feel like you all are, are communicating right now. There's a lack of communication for a lot of you all. So let's get a general energy for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, individuals. And I think I was just talking. This don't want to go in the deck. Look at that moon card again. Yeah. And like I said, the moon card upright is um, things hidden, things unknown, things unseen, the subconscious, fears, doubts, worry, and concern. I was getting ready to say, let me say this before I, I continue talking. I don't I don't think I told you guys, you know, I hope everyone's doing well. I try to make it a habit to do that because that's kind of rude. That's just like if somebody comes to your house and just starts talking, I'll say, hey, how you doing? You know, they just start talking to you. That's rude. So I'm being mindful of that. I just want to make sure I put that out there before I continue. But anyway, um, this person could also be a, because we did see the high priestess, right? And the high priestess is Pisces. The moon card is Pisces. So some of you guys could have been dealing with a Pisces, some moon rising, Venus, and a visual. <clears throat> but also, like I said, things unseen, things unknown, things that are not revealed to you. And remember before we seen that page of wands in reverse, I feel like this, you know, you don't know what this person feels about you. Because they haven't expressed, they haven't openly said it. So you don't even see it coming. You don't even see that page of wands coming. You don't see the communication coming at all. That flew out. <laughs> So you have the Ace of Cups in reverse. You have, first of all, you have some very powerful energy here. You have Major Arcana, and then you have the Ace. It, it's like Major Arcana energy also, right? Because it's very powerful. Yeah, and you know, I just said, you guys don't see it coming. Look how big that eye is, looking at that cup. That cup is that love offer. It's in reverse, you don't see it coming. Most definitely, especially next to the Moon card, you don't see it coming. <laughs> 
you know, at the bottom of the deck, you know, like I said, you have this queen of wands. You don't see this person coming through with this offer. Look at him. He has his wand. She has a wand in her hand. And she already has this um, sunflower in her hand. And I feel like that's a gift. Like, you know, a gift of communication. For some of you guys, a very strong Leo energy, possibly. Let's get additional messages. Yeah, I said earlier, fire sign, right? This person is dealing with something that is a heavy burden to them. Or the reason that they cut you off is because they were still, they had to carry something heavy. They were dealing with something very heavy. And usually with the Ten of Wands, they're carrying it on their back. This person's carrying it in front of them, which gives me a added energy that this person may still be going through that right now, still trying to, but they're trying to push through it. You know, they're trying to push through it. Let's part the deck so we can get ready to shuffle. You had a temperance card, more fire sign energy, Sagittarius. This person is wanting you to be patient. Major Arcana, again, this person wants you to have patience with them. But here's the thing. They want you to have patience with them, but they're not communicating with you. So you don't know that you need to have patience with them. That's the biggest issue is the lack of communication. That's the issue in this whole scenario. Look at that. Four of, four of wands, right? Like I said, fire, 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 fiery energy. For a lot of you guys, this is specifically based around someone who's dealing with strong fire sign placements doesn't just have to be sun again someone rising in venus this person wants long term with you because think about it, we just seen that to a cousin he had four wands that's that twin flame life partnership marriage card this person is ready to drop this burden because upright that's them still carrying that burden but in reverse this person wants to drop that burden and but right now i feel like you know this four of wands is in reverse because think about it look at these energies you know, well, this came up in reverse, but this is heavy love energy, right? This is very heavy love energy, but I feel like so many things are unspoken. So many things are unspoken that you don't even know that this person wants this. And I'm going to say again, because I just heard this message as I looked at this card, this person is scared because the moon is a subconscious and it's also fear. This person is scared. They're scared. They're scared to give you love. They're scared to express their feelings. I think for a lot of you guys... At the bottom of the deck, you had a four of wands upright. I think for a lot of you guys, this person does not know how to express their feelings. They they don't they don't like being yep. They don't like feeling vulnerable. Because as I said that again, I'm looking at the moon card. That's your vulnerability too. You know. This person doesn't want to be vulnerable. Because there's a look at how the moon is looking, just gazing off like in this bubble to itself. The moon is in this bubble to itself, and it just has this kind of I'm hearing, I'm hearing reclusive energy, and then I'm also hearing that this person wants to stay. They're keeping themselves in a bubble. They're keeping themselves in a bubble. They're fearful. Very fearful, fear-based energy. You have the Six of Pentacles, clarifying the Moon card, lack of balance. They are in balance right now. This individual is they're in balance. But it's like they, they're in balance, but they don't want you to leave. They definitely don't want you to move forward without them. I'm going to tell you also upright, you see how this person is giving one individual crumbs. And the other, you know, is waiting for their turn. In reverse, this person may have been breadcrumbing you in the past. And I feel like they're coming out of that. They want to restore the balance. They want to restore the balance. And then also, as far as your finances go, because we did see energy your finances earlier too, um, your finances are becoming balanced. You have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Nine of Pentacles upright, right, is the single woman, single man. They're happy and confident, and they're okay with being single. In reverse, and it's clarifying the Ace of Cups. This person doesn't want you to be single. This person wants you as their partner. They don't want you to be happy and at peace with being single. But then they don't want to give you an offer either. Well, they want to give you an offer, most definitely. They want to give you an offer, but they're scared. This person is scared. And I want to say again, because your two clarifying cards are both pinnacle cards. And I feel like a lot of you have some earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus placements in your chart. Also, we are currently in Taurus season. That's earthy energy. So a lot of these things could play out for a lot of you guys during the time of Taurus and that ends what on the 20th of May yeah on the 20th of May is the end of Taurus season for a lot of you guys you're going to get communication during this time 
because keep in mind in the past we've seen how that page of wands turned upright at first it was in reverse and then turned upright during the time of Taurus this person is going to communicate with you most definitely but right now it doesn't seem like it. you're not seeing it because you have the ace of cups in reverse you're not seeing it look how large that cup is there's 78 cards in both of these decks and even though it's in reverse the fact that it came out versus something else lets me know that this person this is on this person's mind it could be you but i feel like it's the it's the person that you're watching for this person wants to be with you but there's there's fear Every you have four cards on the table. Every single one of your cards are in reverse except for the moon card. That's very strong, you know, clarification that this person is fearful. They I even feel like they're intimidated by you. I feel like this person is intimidated by you. Yeah, cuz like I said, you see how the moon is in this bubble and it's kind of like they're staring off into the distance. They they're in this bubble of protection. I feel like this person may be scared of being rejected. That's the strongest energy that I'm picking up. Mm. And then, like I said, with the song, Like a Boy, and If I Were a Boy, both of those songs are like, what if I treated you the way that you treated me? In the past, this person literally was just breadcrumbing you. They were only giving you enough, just enough to keep you around until you had to make a decision to become the Nine of Pentacles and become single. You had to make that decision. But look at it. It's right next to this card. This person doesn't want you to be single because they no longer want to give you breadcrumbs. They want to give you something more, but we also seen that 10 of wands. They still are carrying some burdens in front of them. And then we had a lot of energy of finances also. I feel like for you, Gemini, your finances are about to increase, but I feel like they are dealing. Yeah, you don't know that because as I'm saying this, you know, like I said, the moon card is about things unknown, things unseen, things that you have no knowledge of. They can't offer you this right now because they don't, they feel like they're not abundant. Because even though I feel like this is your energy, you know, the single woman, single man, in reverse, there's also a lack of abundance, right? And I feel like this individual feels like they are lacking abundance and they can't offer you this grand love offer that they want. Nonetheless, they don't want you to go anywhere else either. They don't want you to move on. Also with this huge eye right here, a lot of them are watching you on social media, right? So keep that in mind also. A lot of them are watching you. <laughs> from multiple platforms. I'm saying that because I see these. You got one beam right here in the middle, another beam right here, another beam right here. They're watching you from multiple platforms of social media. Yeah, most definitely that's the message that I'm getting for you guys today. Okay? So, Gemini, Summer, Rising, Venus, individuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care. Bye.